In Fresno County, 79% of students graduate high school compared to 81% nationwide. Local educators say they won't be satisfied until 100% of all students leave school with a diploma. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how schools are working towards that goal. Juanita? Well, every day, students in Fresno County attend school with the odds stacked against them. Despite those odds, educators are finding ways to improve their chances for success. By being here today, you're all sending a very strong message. Grant Nation, an event that brought the mayor of Fresno, the police chief, and the county superintendent of schools together on the same stage. Effective education really happens in one way. It's about human interaction. In the it's audience, school, touch. community, it's and business leaders all gathered for the same it's reason. It's about all of us coming together and making a difference in the life of a child. Here in Fresno County, the high number of children living in poverty, the high number of preterm births, and the low number of students entering kindergarten ready for school are all factors that can lead to kids not graduating. Fresno Mayor Ashley Swearingen says children growing up in poor, unsafe neighborhoods are placed at a disadvantage. The fact that so many of our elementary schools and in, in, in early stages of middle schools are outperforming the quality of the neighborhoods that surround them is a direct testament to the commitment and the leadership and the dedication of our school leaders, period. To show you an example of a school working to beat the odds, we traveled to the small town of Huron, located in the middle of nowhere and recently named the poorest city in California. The majority of its residents don't have a high school diploma. Here, Huron Middle School is a beacon of hope. Attendance rates are up, um, student performance is increasing, um, and kids are happy to be here. They do seem to be happy here. They support each other and their school. But longtime staff members say go back five, seven years, Huron Middle School was a different place. Students that would go up to teachers and want to fight them. You know, we had kids coming in with bullet holes already in their bodies. Kids that had already been in juvenile hall had been arrested, you know, and had really no motivation. They had really no uh, feeling that they could be somebody in life. Um, it, was, it was very different to what we have here now. Principal Javier Gonzalez credits the turnaround in part to its SMART program. Students mentored via an advisory room by a teacher. All of our students have an adult advocate, role model, mentor, advisor. And so throughout the three years, they have that same advisor that's with them. And they build those relationships where, you know, they help them grow intellectually, socially, ethically, and physically. What are you working on in this particular test? For this group of eighth graders, that advisor is Marcella Silva. She's their advocate, their person. I feel like um, sometimes they lack a parent. Sometimes um, they lack an older sister, uh, somebody to give them good advice, a friend. So I, I think I fulfill that role for them. She's always telling us to do the right thing. She makes sure we are prepared with everything. And if we need something, we just go to her. Besides placing a caring adult in these children's lives, the school developed programs to engage the students, giving them a reason to want to show up every day. One of the things that we did through our SMART program is create an intramural sports program where our smart classes compete against each other during lunch. So now we have students who are interacting with each other, students who had never had an opportunity to be part of a sports program to really go out there and, and be involved with athletics. In a community that offers little hope, Huron Middle School is giving students like 13-year-old Carla Diaz reasons to believe in herself. We always talk about our goals. We always write down what we want to do. If we want something we gotta work hard for it and we could actually make it no officials also credit the staff of Huron Middle School many of them like the principal grew up in Huron and they are committed to the community and its students there